This is a, a great opportunity to see one of the kind of mythical sites of Scottish archaeology. The, the Cochino Stone is one of these sites that people have heard about, there's rumours about it, but very few people remember seeing it when before it was buried, and so to be part of the revealing of it is really exciting. We've got to move hundreds of tonnes of soil, we've got to transfer it safely off-site and then get it to, to a safe distance from the site. We've got to remove remnants of an old dry stone wall that was knocked down when the stone was buried in the 1960s. And we've also got to do it in a way that doesn't in any way damage the surface of the stone, which is incredibly soft. First thing we're going to do is aerial photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is a process by which you extract 3D information from two-dimensional photographs. So we're going to have a program drone which does a flight path going at different points across the uh, breadth of the stone, taking photographs, and then from that you have points referenced as features on the stone, and those points are seen by a computer software from two different points, triangulated, and then a mark is put down, a kind of digital point basically. That makes a point cloud which gives you a rough sort of the movement of the stone essentially. The cup and ring marks are very good quality, they're very deeply incised, so they're actually very spectacular, they stand out very clearly. The quantity of them in this one rock is, is, is amazing as well. The rock's covered, it's a huge rock, sort of 13 by 8 metre surface area. So it's, it's not just the quality, it's also the density and the number of rock art symbols as well. And as, as you said, there's also these enigmatic other symbols. There's a cross somewhere on it, which we haven't found yet, which is obviously a more modern um, carving. But there's all, we've also got um, two footprints, which have both got four toes, which could be ancient. There are a few parallels of five-toed footprints in prehistoric rock art, but they may also be modern additions as well to the rock. And one of the things we'll do with the laser scanning and the digital recording of the site is to establish if we can pick up whether there's any depth to it, maybe what kind of tools used to make those markings and establish whether they're original or whether they're much more recent additions.